Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, then you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free. Cheryl Todd here from Gun Freedom Radio, and I am in the great state of Texas at the amazing She Never Quit event with the founder of She Never Quit, Miss <laughs> Deb Burns. Thank you for having me on. It's um, when we started the, the foundation, the Women's Outdoor Media, uh, the whole association was started as a way uh, all volunteers to uh, bring more highlights to women that hunt, fish, shooting sports, mm -hmm. and archery. Yes. And here we are now, a seventh year, doing our charity event for She Never Quit. And so amazing, and you are the founder of the Women's Outdoor Media Association. Right. And uh, that is such a, a needed thing. Media is, it's taken a weird turn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the last few years, <laughs> right? Yes. And so to have people that are invested in the subject matter, invested in the stories and the people behind the stories that are being told is so important. Yeah. So talk to us about the, that particular, the WOMA, it's called. Yeah, the WOMA. So uh, what happened was you were spot on when, um, you know, going back a little bit in history, I had started Babes with Bullets with Kane Michalik back in 04. And everybody said to us back then, nobody wants to talk about women in shooting sports. Nobody, nobody, but back in 04, right? right? Well, then in 09, I kept thinking, we're not getting enough media about women in shooting sports. Like I said, shooting sports, hunting and fishing, so we started the Loma. And then um, we look back at it now, and fast forward, you know, 10 years, 12 years, 14 years, and now people are saying, wow, we need to hear more from women about our Second Amendment. We need to hear more about women that are in the, uh, doing field to pork, hunting, and bringing organic meats to the family. Well, let's face it, we are a huge buying population. By the way. We're huge, right? <laughs> yeah. So, the, the motivation behind the Women's Outdoor Media Association really has gotten stronger and stronger and stronger, which I'm thrilled about. That said, we also get a lot of, I'm going to call it the woke crowd, saying to me, um, we don't believe in what you do. That's all right. The Second Amendment says you don't have to agree with what I do. I just have to do it safely and legally and make it work for people. And with the She Never Quit, all the money we raise goes to women's veterans programs, um, female first responder programs. So we're proud of what we do. And nobody is going to talk down to what we do. No, I don't want to ever hear anybody talk down about what you do for Gun Freedom Radio. Because just, I want to make it clear, I have a new shirt up that says, I do not believe PC stands for politically correct. I believe PC stands for please conform. You know what? I, I absolutely agree with you, and I think that's brilliant because that really is. I mean, even going back, I, I can remember George Bush, you know, Daddy Bush, when right. he was president, right. he gave a speech along those lines all those years ago. Right. He understood the dangers of political correctness and where it could go, and look here, we're and living it out. We're living it out. And just to let you know, when I wrote the Babes with Bullets book in 2005, mm -hmm. I put in, I think it's page 126, I said that um, PC does not stand for politically correct, it stands for police conform. And I laughed and said, now here we are decades later and I'm getting a shirt made that says that statement. I'll make sure you get some for our gun freedom program you're doing in February. I love it, yes, absolutely. Uh, in uh, February of 2000, we really? 
yes. in 2022. Yes. Yes. Uh, we will have the Second Amendment rally once again on the lawn of the Arizona State Capitol. Yeah. And of course, who do we want to have come out? But we'll, we'll be there for Ms. you. Deb Ferns and the Women's Outdoor uh, Media Association. And this talk of the She Never Quit and the reason behind it, the mission behind it, yes. to help serve those who have served in so many instances, exactly. even the wreaths across America. That is something that I have a, a personal connection to. We've been uh, buying wreaths across America for the past several years, where you buy one for you and one for a grave site. Correct. And, Correct. And so we've given them to our staff members at work, and then they get they catch that fire. And they're like, well, next year I'm going to do it. Yes. So talk to us about um, the specific organizations and, and how they serve women. Well, it, yeah. with the wreaths across America, as you were saying, a lot of times the grave sites are for men. Yes, but it's almost always, and I'm really glad you brought that one up because we've, you know, we typically, everything we do is like Foundation for Women Warriors or herwildlife.org mm -hmm. or, uh, but through the Navy SEAL Family Foundation, uh, we had talked to a number of uh, uh, Navy SEAL wives, widows, right? And we had also talked to a number of widows of several service members, and they said, could you please help us with Reese Across America? And we said, we absolutely will. So that's kind of a way that we work with the widows to honor what's going on at Christmas time for the Rees, as you know. So that's a small part of what we do because we are an all volunteer board and whatever we make, like for instance, Trinity Oaks for the, for the terminally ill or Trinity Oaks hunts that, that work with not just terminally ill children, but with the veteran hunts. And then herwildlife.org, there's so many that need that help. And our feeling then too is even when we started She Never Quit event as our big charity event, um, the first year we did it, we had 20 women. Next year you do, you have 30. Then you have 40, then you have 50, then you have 60, then you have 60. And finally we just went, oh, oh, okay. Um, but Cheryl, how do you tell people that have done so much and given their all, how do you tell them thank you? It isn't just enough to write them a thank you note. It, you have to stand up and be counted for, for counting them that have counted on us. Absolutely. I love that. That's beautiful. And thank you so much for all you do. And you have some amazing sponsors. Mention those real quick. And even the facility that we're standing at. Okay, so we're at the Thumbtack Ranch in outside of what's at near Batesville, Texas. But uh, the nearest big town is uh, U Valley. I said it right that time. And. Um, so here we are at this beautiful Thumbtack Ranch, and they are again the Trinity Oaks charity. You know, so we're giving back again, and uh, we've got sponsors like uh, Safari Land came in, and they're going to do a concealed carry and everything for us. Uh, another one that stepped up, Arms Corps, donated. It's got to be fourteen or sixteen thousand dollars of ammo. Right, easily. Thank you, arms for, uh, oh. especially in the year 2021. Yeah. Oh, right? thank you, right? And Fioki stepped up with shotgun rounds for us, and then um, and then we ended up with Mossberg stepping up with uh, with guns and a trainer. You know, Kim Mitchell as a trainer, and Ruger stepped up, and uh, Patriot Defense, also out of Texas, uh, stepped up, and they make all sorts of custom guns. They stepped up, I think, six in a row. Wow. And then Beretta stepped up. And, and I mean, every time we turn around, and I probably haven't named them, named them all, okay? A high biz stepped up. And every time we turn around, more and more sponsors are stepping up to help us with our auction and with sending trainers. I mean, I, I just look at this and say from a little grassroots effort, it just kind of blossomed and blossomed and blossomed. So for those of doubters from when we started Bayfoot Bullets in 04, mm -hmm. when we started the Woma in 09, for those doubters, man, man, man. <laughs> exactly. We're still here. <laughs> and we're growing. <laughs> so for anybody that, you know, these great sponsors, maybe I missed a couple, it, it's hard on the spot. They're all listed, I bet, on a website they somewhere. Are. And we can send people to go and check out where can people find out about all the things that you do. Well, thank you for asking, because I can already think of some I missed. For instance, Champion, 
um, and, and Harpies, and Champ Champion being what you might not know, most people know Champion from Flying Clays or um, a shotgun machines, right? They donated $14,000 of AR-500 steel so that when we run the range, we're not doing it on paper targets. It's, we call it Ting is the thing. Oh, yeah. So doing trees and plate racks and, I mean, I mean, it's such a collective effort to put something like this together and to give a great swag. But Ontario Knife Company stepped up and gave every gal a $125 knife in their swag bag. Oh my god! When you do that times 75 bags, that's a serious thing. Ka -ching, ka -ching. Yeah. So I just look at that and say, they're all going to be listed at thebulba.org. Yes. And we're going to do social media throughout the weekend and yes. the weeks to come. And of course, a big thank you to Good Stuff to Me for yes. getting ready to do our documentary yes. on the Woma and on um, She Never Quit. And I just look at that and say, there, there is never an I in team, never, ever, ever. Um, I obviously don't put this on alone. I have an amazing board, amazing helpers. And I just look at this and say, anybody who for a moment doesn't think this is where God wants us to be and how he wants us to continue forward, right? then you're just not getting it, right? And uh, I welcome you to reach out and ask me how you can help, how you can be part of the solution. And um, here's a big thing for people, is stop being so afraid. Stop being a lemmy, right? I mean, we're surrounded by them. In, in, public opinion, afraid yeah, of what your yes, neighbor thinks, Yes, right? yes, and I say to them, in my own family, I say to them, do you understand what happens to lemmings? And they went, no. I said, go watch it. They just followed blindly and went off a cliff. I said, stop being a lemon, a lemming, and start thinking about how you can be part of, of the solution. And I think people are waking up. They sure are on school boards right now. Parents that have never, ever, ever gone to a school meeting, finally going, wait oh, a minute, what's going on here? You oh, see it, don't you? Absolutely. I have a granddaughter who's in school, and every day, practically, we're having a conversation about are we still comfortable with the instruction and the culture at a public school, or do we need to make a different decision for our family and maybe homeschool? And so I, I know we are not unique in that. No. And I just want to say, as we start wrapping up, you know, when you think about those lemmings throwing themselves you know, mindlessly off of a cliff because their neighbor does, right? Right, right. Because the lending next to them and in front of them does. And then you look at the strength, right? The strength of the words in your organization. She never quit. Yes. Right? And now is not the time to quit. I I appreciate it's easier to quit now. I, I appreciate it's easier. Easier does in the short term. Short term. In the long term, what do we end up with, right? And okay. we are looking to the next generation and teaching them, and we know we have their eyes on us. Yes. And we want them to have that spirit. Yes. She never quit. Ms. Deb Ferns, thank you so much. Thank for you. That you do. I so value our, our friendship. And I this too. weekend is going to be amazing. I'm going to get to do things that <laughs> I've never done before. I'm going to throw a hatchet. <laughs> With instruction, well, well, it's about safety too. I tell you what, with net warfare, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have that little radio remote control uh, racing pig. We're going to have hatchet throwing. <laughs> then Mia Einstein yes. is coming and going to do archery with us. I mean, I just look at everything that we get to share with each other, mm -hmm. and I value it so much. Yes. And I just want other people not to be so quick to write off all of our amendment rights, and they write them off like they don't matter. Because I'm going to tell you what, they're going to matter sometime. And by the time you finally wake up, okay, you finally wake up, I hope it's not too late. And that you have finally figured out that being a lemming is not a great life expectancy course. Boy, it sure isn't. And you've got the First and the Second Amendment wrapped up with both of your, your core organizations. And thank you again so much thank for all that you do and for serving those who have served. All right, gang. Thank you so much. Stick around. We've got lots more coming up on Gun Freedom Radio.